Hi guys, today I want to show you how you can easily change the location of your WordPress blog. Sometimes it happens that the domain name for your WordPress blog may change or that you have to move uh, your blog to a different server and then it's a bit tricky to get WordPress up and running again. Because if you don't change some things in WordPress, you will definitely have a very hard time uh, getting it back. But uh, before we start, there are some things you really need uh, to do first. At first, you really need to back up your site, meaning back up your database and also back up all your files. Hopefully, you've got access to um, PHP MyAdmin, which you can see here. Um, it's easily to export uh, the whole database if you just click the name of your database right here on the upper uh, left side. And then you choose uh, export. Uh, it's a German version here, so uh, don't wonder why everything looks a bit different. But here, choose export and then uh, just uh, quick, that's OK, and uh, click OK. And then here you can save uh, the database file to a location on your computer. Another thing is if you should back up all the WordPress files, as you can see here. Um, I use an SCP tool called WinSCP to access my web server. And uh, all these that I've marked here are the WordPress files. Um, you should really back them up so you are in a safe place um, before you start doing any changes to the WordPress block. So basically, there are uh, two things we need to do right now. At first, we have to tell uh, WordPress that the block has moved to a different location so that it has got a new URL. There are different ways to do that and um, I will link uh, um, a very good article from WordPress um, under the video where several ways um, are described. Today I want to show you one way that it's, is very easy and uh, that I really like uh, to use. So we're using the SCP tool again, as you can see here, this is the root of my WordPress block. And there's one file here right in the middle, it's called wp-config.php. And we will now open that file to tell uh, WordPress that it has moved to a location. And here, right in the beginning of the file, um, we will insert two lines. Um, I've prepared them here on a text document. It's these two lines. Okay, I have pasted uh, the two, these two lines uh, in the wp-config file. And here you can see an URL. And this is actually the new URL for your block. So uh, if you put these two lines inside the wp-config, WordPress already knows where your block has moved to. So here always enter your new location to this blue marked stuff. One here in the first line and here in the second line too. Uh, one thing you need to know is that when you've entered these things, you cannot change uh, the WordPress path in the WordPress administration area anymore. If you want to change it in the WordPress uh, administration area, you have to delete these two lines again. Um, otherwise, it won't work. So now we will save this and um, now it's edited. We can check it once more and wait. And these are the two first lines. Very good. Okay, so we have completed the first step, editing the wp-config file. Now in the second step, we will do some editing in the database using uh, the PHP MyAdmin tool. Okay. The first step is completed. Now um, let's head over to the second step, editing the database using the PHP MyAdmin tool. We will now have to search uh, the database for our old URL. So we hit the search button here in the top, enter the old uh, URL. I will now uh, paste it here. And here we can select uh, which tables should be searched. And I will select all tables and now hit the go button. And um, here are the search results. And as you can see, we only have one, one match in the WP comments table. We have five matches in the WP options table. And we have uh, around 2,158 matches in the WP posts table. We do have to change actually all of these, um, but we will start um, with these tables as this is not uh, so much work to do. If we click browse in the wp comments file, 
we will see that here in this um, part of the table, in this uh, column, there is the URL. So you can just click at it and here is the URL and replace it with the new URL. I will make it like uh, this is my new URL.com save and I will end hit go and then it's being changed. So now as you can see it's changed to the new URL and the WP comments table is finished. So the first table is finished. Now head over to the second table. So we hit again the search button, enter the old domain name and uh, select all tables and hit go. Okay, so now as we can see, we have uh, five matches in the WP options file. And uh, we don't want to edit those five matches manually. So at first we click browse because we need to find out in which um, uh, column uh, the URL is. And as we can see here, the URL is in the option value uh, column. This is very important to know and you really uh, should write uh, this down. So I will uh, simply open uh, a new notepad and a type option value um, because now we will execute an SQL statement which will automatically replace the old URL with the new one. But it's very important to know which is the column and uh, the name of the table. So the name of the table is, I think, uh, VP options, right? Yes, it's VP options. I will also write it down because I'm losing things like these very quickly. So it's VP options. That's the table and that is the column. Okay, so now we'll hit the SQL button and I will copy a statement that I have already prepared um, earlier. You can also find the SQL uh, statement uh, below the video and paste it there. And so what does the statement? It will search uh, the whole table for the old URL and replace it with the new URL. So at first uh, it's the update statement and then we have to uh, enter the table we want to update. It was VP options, I think. Yes, and then we have to enter um, here which um, column we want to edit and this is the uh, option value and then it should be replaced here we need again the column it's uh, option value so and now as you can see we have to enter the urls at first it's the old one this is this and then uh, the new url and now if we hit the go button um, all of these values will be replaced so i hit the go button and as we can see, five rows affected and uh, the query was successful. So now um, all the old URLs in the VP options table have been replaced with the new URLs um, from this SQL statement. This is very handy because we don't have to do it manually. And if you don't believe me, we can uh, do a little check. This was the old uh, URL. I will paste it here in the search field again, the table of VP options and I hit go. And as you can see, uh, zero matches in VP options. And if I will search for the new URL now, we will see that we will get five uh, results, hopefully, yes five matches and we can browse these matches and here you can see all the old values have been changed to the new ones. We have successfully did it the second table and now there's one more table to go. So we will use the search feature once again, enter the old URL, select all the tables and hit go. And now we can see we have uh, around 2000 uh, matches in the VP posts table. So we will click browse again and now we can see the VP posts table. And um, 
Here it's a bit more complicated um, because um, the URLs are in different um, columns. But the most important column for us at first is um, the git or the GUID uh, column, which is more here on the right. It's uh, this one, GUID table, uh, GUID column, I mean. Um, here are most of the values and we will edit these now again using an SQL statement. So again, remember uh, the table name is VP posts and the uh, um, column name is GU uh, ID because it's very important. So we hit the SQL button once again and use our prepared SQL statement and copy it here. but. We have to edit it a bit. So at here in the first place, we have to enter the table. It was VP um, posts was the table name and the name of the column was uh, GUID. And we will need this once again here. GUID. Okay, the URLs are the correct ones. And now, I will hit OK and go. And finally, um, the SQL statement edited 2158 rows, which is very good actually. And now we have to do it once again because um, in the VP posts table, it's not only in the GUID row, but also in another one. So we hit the search button once again and uh, copy the old URL, enter it here. Now we can use only the WP post table for searching. And we will find again a 1000 matches. So where are these matches? We click browse again, and then we see that most of them are in the post content field. So we have to execute another SQL statement here and we will use the one I've copied now. Okay, haven't copied that. So the table is once again VP posts and the column we have to edit is uh, post content, I think, or I hope. So we have the table VP posts, that's right, post content, replace post content, the URLs and go. So, 1077 rows were affected, and now um, you can see if we will search for the old URL here in the VP posts table, there will be no more matches. Oh, we have one more matches left, okay, which is this one. Ah, okay, that's that's interesting. So you always should uh, use the search function to uh, check if there are anything is missing. We have another URL here in the pinged column. So now you can uh, execute the SQL statement once again, but you could also um, edit this manually by uh, clicking edit here in the front. And here is the pinged field and there you can see that um, it should be edited to the new URL. Okay, so now we have finished all steps in the database because we have removed the old domain name from all the tables inside the database. And now we can check if the WordPress blocks works again. And as you can see here, uh, the blocks looks actually fine. Um, I can browse all the categories, it looks good. Um, all the pictures are loading again because um, the pictures won't load when the uh, URL is not correct. And uh, let's check once again uh, if the administration interface is also working. So as you can see, the administration interface, it's now in German language, so don't wonder, it's uh, also working. And here is uh, one uh, very important thing, as I described it in the very beginning of the video. The WordPress URL and the site URL can't be changed from the administration interface anymore because we have hard-coded it into the wp-config file. Um, so please uh, keep that in mind. 
Okay, thanks uh, for your attention. If you have any questions, feel free to post them uh, in the comments. I will also put all the important stuff, the SQL statements and everything uh, under the video so you can uh, check it. And yeah, thanks and goodbye.